Hello there. Today I have a review of the new LG Studio dishwasher for you. This is the flagship of the LG dishwasher line, and it's bristling with features. I'm going to go over all the features and test it with a number of particularly difficult to clean dishes, and perhaps more importantly, help you decide if it's worth the price. This LG unit replaces our GE dishwasher. For those of you that follow my channel, you might remember I reviewed that dishwasher a few years back. In short, it was mediocre. The GE was functioning when we replaced it, but it required that you pre-wash all of your dishes. Otherwise, inevitably, you would have several dishes that didn't get clean. There are lots of different things to consider when purchasing a dishwasher, and everybody's going to rate them a little bit differently. The features that I care about the most are how quiet is the dishwasher, how long does it take to complete the dishwashing cycle, does it dry the dishes well, how well does it handle the great big loads versus the everyday day-to-day -day loads, and most importantly of all, is it a good value? This LG is a standard 24 inches wide by 24 inches deep unit, and it will fit most American homes with a built-in dishwasher space. It has a nice looking stainless steel front face and all of the controls on the top of the door when it's opened. So when the door is closed, the controls are hidden and it has a very clean look. Inside, the tub of the dishwasher is stainless steel, which is very durable and should provide years of service. Lower priced dishwashers may sacrifice here and use a plastic tub. This LG has three racks. They manage to squeeze in a thin top rack that is used for silverware, utensils like spatulas, and long spoons that can often be problematic in the silverware basket. As you are loading this dishwasher, you'll find that you can fold the tines up or down to best fit what you are trying to load it up with. However, I found that they don't like to stay in place, and if you bump them while loading, they will fold back flat, which can be very annoying. The racks inside the dishwasher are very smooth in operation. They roll on ball bearings, making them very easy to slide in or out. Another nice feature is the mid-rack, which can be adjusted up or down with just a pull of a lever. And this is handy if you have an oversized pan in the bottom and need a bit more room. At first, we weren't too fond of the silverware basket. It has a lid on the basket to isolate each and every piece of silver from clanking on each other during the cycle. Interesting concept, but it makes loading silverware difficult. The good news is that they just snap into place, and removing them was no biggie. Like most any dishwasher, at the bottom of the machine is the main cleaning nozzle that spins around squirting your dishes to get them clean. LG has improved on the standard helicopter design by first making it four blades with what they call quad wash. They also improved the nozzles on the blades so that the water sprays at higher pressure in effort to remove tough food residue. The upper rack, or should I say the mid rack, also has a separately fed whirling blade below it. The true top rack that I mentioned doesn't have its own spray nozzle. And in my testing, on more than one occasion, items in the top rack did not get clean. When you first open the dishwasher, you'll notice a couple other things that you won't find on most other machines. First, there are a row of LED lights that come on that help light up the interior. What a great idea! One of those simple additions that really makes a difference. You'll also notice at the bottom of the door a row of nozzles. These are for the true steam feature. When the steam function is selected, it helps clean your dishes by using the power of steam to loosen tough, dried on food. It also helps with removing spots from stemware and glasses. I found this feature was a great help for tough dishwasher loads like pots and pans and food stains that our old dishwasher would no way get clean. The LG gives you lots of options on how you want the cycle to run. There are five cleaning cycles, with the one hour wash being the shortest cycle. There is a refresh cycle that is 57 minutes long, but it's really not a cleaning cycle and is used for just rinsing and touching up already clean dishes. The others are pretty standard. 
normal, heavy duty, and delicate. There's also an auto cycle that supposedly monitors the water cleanliness and increases or decreases the time to make sure that the dishes are clean. There are a bunch of options that you can add to the run cycles depending on your needs. Steam, which we just talked about, high temp, which will boost the temperature of the water coming in by using a heating element, flex zone, which is a weird option that emphasizes the top or bottom racks exclusively. The other options, dry boost and night dry, are not cleaning options, but as the name says, functions for drying the dishes. Dry Bruce runs a heater to dry your dishes. Night Dry runs a fan to remove the humidity in the dishwasher. Not all of the options are available, depending on what you've selected for the dish cycle. You can play around with them and find out what works best for you. But keep in mind, the cycle times are pretty long on this dishwasher. A normal cycle without any options is 2 hours and 25 minutes. Add steam and the time jumps up to 3 hours and 15 minutes. Add dry boost and you're up to 3 hours and 40 minutes. A full up heavy duty cycle is just shy of 4 hours. These long cycle times probably mean that you'll run the dishwasher at night. Otherwise the dishwasher can be tied up for half the day. For us, running the dishwasher when we go to bed works out just fine. This way we can choose all of the options to be sure that everything gets fully clean for us when we get up the next morning. Which brings me to the next big feature of this dishwasher, sound. As you shop for dishwashers, you'll likely find as the sound level goes down, the price goes up. This is certainly true with the LG dishwasher line. The extra money you'll pay goes into additional insulation, noise abatement, and quieter motors. This top of the line LG had a number of installation procedures which added pads and isolation rubber to quiet down the machine. And these additions do a very good job. I found that I could watch TV in the next room while the machine was washing. But since we tend to wash our dishes at night, paying extra for sound attenuation is probably wasted on us. Okay, let's move on to the most important feature of this dishwasher, performance. We've all seen dishwasher marketing videos where they show you a dishwasher full of dishes with caked on food residue. Lots of them saying, stop pre-rinsing your dishes and get on with more of your life. Well, that really never has worked for us. So after we got the LG installed, I wanted to test the claims of those marketing commercials. I decided to test each load as we use the dishwasher with some really challenging, dirty dishes. Things like pancake batter, dried on barbecue sauce, greasy plastic storage containers, day-old plates caked with dried salsa, coffee-stained cups, pots with dried rice remnants, sticky brownie dough, and on and on. I ran stuff through this LG dishwasher that my old GE would have puked on. It just kept surprising me. This dishwasher really cleans stuff well. As impressive as this dishwasher is with cleaning, drying is another story. Even with the dry boost on high, many of the items were wet at the end of the cycle, especially items on the top rack. In my semi-dry climate, we got the best drying results if you open the dishwasher door and just leave it open for a few hours. This LG has also jumped on the Internet of Things by allowing you to interact with it with your phone. The dishwasher will send notifications to your phone when the dishwasher is started and when the cycle is finished. It also tells you how much time is left in the cycle when running, which is handy since the cycles are long and there's no way to tell the progress unless you open the dishwasher door. Still, my conclusion is the app is more about marketing than true usefulness. Okay, let's talk about price. This top of the line LG retails for $1,400, which is huge. If you are willing to give up a few of the convenience features, you can save over 40% with this model. Slightly different look, but it still includes the quad wash and the true steam design. 
so I expect it will match this dishwasher's cleaning abilities. So shop around and you can likely save hundreds. Everyone's going to have a different idea of what makes a great dishwasher. If it's important to you to have dry dishes, I think this LG is going to disappoint you. I also felt like this third rack was a bit of a waste, as well as the Wi-Fi enabled app. But the cleaning ability of this LG exceeded my expectations, and for that reason alone, I would give it high marks. By the way, I should mention that I am no way sponsored by LG, and these are solely my own opinions. As they say, your mileage may vary. If you found this review helpful, I would appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to join me on my journey, please consider subscribing. Thanks for your time, and I hope you join me again soon. Bye for now.